Today we're going to learn about simple volume. Example 1. Let's say we have a problem to solve. Like, Ohm poured some milk from jar A to jar B until the height of the milk in jar A is twice the height of the milk in jar B. What is the height of the milk in jar B? These are the two jars, jar A and jar B. The dimensions for jar A is the base is 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters and jar A is 40 centimeters tall. Also, the height of the milk in jar A is 23 centimeters. The dimensions for the base of jar B is 30 centimeters by 25 centimeters. It is completely empty right now. Before we solve this problem on the whiteboard, let's first look at it in real life. These are the two jars, jar A and jar B. In jar A, this is the total amount of the milk, the total volume of milk. So, let's find the total volume of the milk in jar A. Before we find the total volume of the milk, Let's first write down the formula for finding the volume. The volume is equal to, is always equal to, the area times the height. So, the total volume, total volume of the milk is equal to is equal to the area, which is 20 centimeters times 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters times 10 centimeters, times the height of the milk, which is 23 centimeters. This is equal to 20 times 10 is equal to 200 times 23 is equal to 4,600. 4,600 centimeters cubed. Now let's transfer the milk in jar A the sum of the milk in jar A to jar B until the height of the milk in jar A is twice the height of the milk in jar B. So, let's do that. Let's pour a little more. Now we can see that the height of the milk in jar A is two times the height of the milk in jar B. So, after the transfer, after the transfer, after the transfer after the transfer the height of the milk the height of the milk in jar A is twice the height of the milk in jar B so if the 
height of the milk in jar B is equal to H, then the height of the milk in jar A is equal to 2H, because the height of the milk in jar A is twice the height of the milk in jar B, which is H. So, now let's find the remaining volume of the milk in jar in the jar A. And then let's find the remaining volume of the milk in jar B. So, the remaining volume of the milk in jar A is equal to now we know that the volume is equal to the area times the height. So the volume of the milk in jar A is the area, which is 20 centimeters times 10 centimeters. 20 centimeters times 10 centimeters times the height. We know that the height of the milk in jar A is equal to 2H. So times 2H. This is equal to 20 times 10 is equal to 200 times 2H is equal to 400H. 400H. Now let's find the volume of the milk in jar B. Again, we know that the volume is equal to the area times the height. So, the volume, the volume of the milk in jar B is equal to, is equal to the area, which is 30 centimeters times 25 centimeters, so is equal to 30 times 25 times the height, which is, we know, the height of the milk in jar B is equal to H, so times, times H. This is equal to 30 times 25 is equal to 750 times H is equal to 750H. Now, we must keep in mind 750H centimeters cubed. Centimeters cubed. Now we, we must keep in mind that the total volume of the milk in both containers is the same as the total volume of the milk we have written down here, which is 4,600 centimeters cubed. So, this means that the total volume of the milk, total volume of the milk is equal to the volume of the milk in jar A plus the volume of the milk in jar B. So, this means that the total volume of the milk is equal to 4,600 centimeters cubed, 4,600 centimeters cubed is equal to the volume of the milk in jar A is equal to 408 centimeters cubed, 
400 H plus the volume of the milk in jar B, which is 750 H centimeters cubed. So plus 750 H centimeters cubed is equal to 400 H plus 750 H is equal to 1,150 H centimeters cubed. Now, the way we can find how much H is equal to, let's do that right here. H is equal to, H is equal to, 4,600, 4,600 over 1,150, over 1,150, which is equal to, the zero cancels out with the zero, and 115 goes into 460, four times. Four times. So the height is equal to four centimeters. So h is equal to four centimeters. So this means that the height of the milk in jar B is equal to height, is equal to h, which is equal to four centimeters. So, let's write down 4 centimeters right here. Four centimeters. Today we learned about simple volume example one. Thank you for watching this video.